you need to actually talk to somebody because you feel like you don't have a problem, but you do. In my own opinion, what I said was the straw that broke the camel's back. I spoke my truth. Okay, with regards to the thing that you said that I said, yeah? Because this happened in October or when? But that was the straw that broke the camel's back regardless of the time. If it's him in a way or... Damn, you ask me that's your signature. You are known for playing the victim every time. Look at, look at how you wanted to, to state what happened and you didn't want to give us the entire gist. I can tell you what I would suggest to do, maybe. I might put them on my island and lock it alone. And I should have reached out to explain things to you that this, there was a perception that this was not worth because you were caught up in something that you shouldn't have been caught And for that, I'm, I apologize. I'm okay. Uh, I think we're okay. Okay? But the ship has crashed. You just said confidence and now you're saying pride. They're not the same. Don't no, gotcha, no, no. gotcha. Me and you, you are more insecure. You because you are insecure, baby girl. That's okay. the fact. Hey guys, please. I really want people to know this about me. That I'm sorry to like all of the households that I did. This is what a prideful person doesn't do. Apologize. Okay? Let me First of all, everybody has been through a lot in life. They have been through a lot more than you. And people that have lost their parents is when they were two years old. Mm -hmm. Tatcha has a good side, but I think her bad side might have overshadowed her good side. The break was so much that I didn't even think that I, that I felt I should even call or text anymore. That, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just want to do something once, twice, over and over again. It's hard to believe. It's hard to trust. It. It's okay to be vulnerable. That's part of the reason why I came this year. I wanted to show women it's okay to be vulnerable. If you're, but as a woman, I support you. From this point on, I'm going to trust you. definitely broke up diane and elizona one is the fans and one is mr malube hey guys welcome back to yet another exciting video from deb deb today's video is the review of what went down on day 22 of big brother nigeria pepe dem reunion show before we get started please do well by please clicking the subscribe button and liking this video already without further ado let's get started On today's episode, still on the um, unfinished business and clearing the hair, today was um, Ebuka started with Diane and Elozum saying that, oh, they had an unfinished business and if there were things they had to say. Diane started and started talking and saying, oh, you know, she wanted, you know, Elozum to just have come forward with it or they should have spoken about it. That he felt like he kind of planned to actually come and speak, it, to come and actually say all of this right in the reunion because they never had all this conversation. Elozum goes on to say oh no that ebuka asked him you know what happened between them and he spoke his truth and all oh, that that was just it he spoke his truth and that was the um the the the, the issue that he spoke about was the issue that caught it for him that yes there are other things that happened but the issue he mentioned was the one that was that was that um, that, that cut the camel straw that that was just the main thing that happened diane also stresses the fact about how elozonam told people stuff before you know she he even discussed with her and that that was one of her problem with him elozonam goes on to even explain and all oh, okay diane also brought up about you know and um a voice note or so that even after the last um episode was shot of where they were exchanging words she got back to her hotel and apparently someone had told somebody that was not in the reunion and she was wondering how did the information get Get out and oh, hello. Ebuka even um, pointed out that you know that there were other housemates on set, but you know, Dan just felt Elozona actually tells people stuff before they actually both of them now sit to talk about it. And that was always something that was always the issue because at the time there was a voice note that, that, that trended and all of that. Guys, it was just a whole lot. All I shall know is that between these two people, yes, their fans, you know, must have contributed because there was a lot of them say them said, the, your fans said, my fans said, and they called me to clear things. 
and I had to say this, I had to say that there was a whole lot of back and forth miscommunication that was happening, or should I say communication that never occurred, but would occur with external partner was what, you know, just ruined um, whatever they had going on. And apart from that, like I said, Mr. Malue was also a, pro a problem. And oh, because I think, according for Diane, Diane doesn't see how that um, issue she had done with Malue was supposed to have been, you know, a, a big fact to whatever is going on between her and Elozonam. But Elozonam is explaining that no, that cut the straw, like that cut it for him and all. That that was the biggest one that even that you was like, oh, no, 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 you couldn't and all. But I think for Diane, Diane is still not seen from his as his perspective. And I think it's the fact that Diane is not getting this man ego. Yeah, you know, men have their ego and all of that. So knowing that, oh, you prefer one man to him and all of that, all of that. But I think Diane still doesn't get the fact that, oh, is it because of just that situation that all of this is happening? She feels there are still way deeper things that Elozonam is not fucking about. And even when Elozonam goes to say that, oh, this was the whole issue, Diane doesn't even seem to believe it or understand from where he's coming from. And oh, and I think, you know, when there is no understanding, of course, it's not going to, it's the, the relationship cannot flourish. Ebuka then went on to ask, you know, what's up, um, um, where do they stand and all. Oh, and um, then, because, okay, I remember Elo Zonam actually apologized, saying, oh, when the voice notes came out, it was supposed to have reached out to her and all of that. Then Diana said, okay, she's fine, she's okay. Ebuka asked, oh, where they are? She was like, that, that, not saying that she's fine and all. Oh. Then Elo Zonam was like, oh, yeah, they have been reduced to acquaintance. So, guys, the Dilo ship has just been, you know, cancelled. That ship has sailed. So, yeah, they are just acquaintance. And let's keep it moving. Next issue that was addressed was between Sasha and Toyo. So Ebuka had asked Tasha that, oh, it seemed like she had an issue with Toyo and all, oh, she should speak about it. So Tasha was like, oh, yes, that, you know, she listened to their pre recorded interview where Toyo was like, oh, he shows his body because he's confident about his body. But it just really sounds funny to her because if he could say he was confident of his body, that's why he was showing off. So why can't she also show off herself if she was confident of herself? Because apparently Toyo had said something, I think, in an interview or something something which also then led to the fact that there was an interview Toyo did um I think after I left the house and all and then the headline read that Toyo said you know Tasha was using um voodoo and all but Toyo was able to clear the situation and said no actually he never said so that the issue was that during the interview that it was a setup they asked him oh do you think Tasha has financial backing or spiritual backing and then it was like oh yeah she has both because you know he he he, he knew that you know Jaruma was supporting her and all so he felt oh that financial backup is already set to like she has that one unlocked and then the spiritual like it just went oh she would have both and all of that but yet the press then went and misled and um, used another code to and just misled the public at the end of the day so it was a press thing it wasn't that he said it so Toyo was like even if he wanted to drag the 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 the, the press company he could actually drag them and, and all because that was not what he said and all but yet Tasha story went on and even before um and Tasha went on eh guys see yeah, like I said Tasha likes to shalaye something that she can and I feel you know she actually had a plan of coming to the reunion to say certain things and maybe to captivate people's hearts or to change a narrative about um that people have in her mind and if it's to change narrative i kind of quite understand that that's good you know that's a very nice one you coming to change narrative but there are some things that were just unnecessary for her to say she first went on to say oh yes you know she had gone through a whole lot told us about when she was 16 her mother her de mother's death and all of that like guys i i this went on for 10 minutes that you know and even the 10 minutes was the one that they had edited and showed us so imagine how many minutes how long it took her to explain this thing on that day like at the live show but we, we are just seeing like a 10 minutes you know explanation of what she went on saying like there was time they took a break came back on oh, more guys let me be sincere I actually was dozing at that moment i closed my eye like i'm like it's so long what is the what is the cocoa how is it relating to toyo you dragging toyo except you know you have already pre plan that oh i would drag to your about i'll say this about what Toyo said then i'll be able to chip in one or two and talk about this angle this angle so that you know people can hear does it the time she was like she was saying to the camera guys oh i'm sorry and all but i want people to know this i'm like okay we get it but don't waste our time tell us what you need to tell us paint the picture you want to tell us but don't waste our time for god's sake it was so long and oh she went to explaining her story and all of that guys it was so long anyways after she was done 
So yeah, then went on to say, oh yes. Okay, by the way, when she was explaining her story, she was like, oh, that she then apologized that, oh, she apologized to all the housemates if she had behaved in certain way or so, so, so. I'm like, oh, that's good. Everybody even clap for her. At least, like, this is the first time, you know, she will apologize for whatever she had done in the house and that was beautiful to see. A kudos to her. She did so amazing, even though it took us so long to get to this point. But we are still proud of you that you actually felt, you know, you needed to apologize to everyone. Then Toya went on to also say, oh, you know, yes, everybody have gone through things and all, but you can't use because of your experience to act shitty to other people and toyo is right for the first time that you know toyo will say a whole lot during an episode like he then said something legit that's amazing because yes you can't say because oh you have gone through a whole lot and all that all that so you know you should just dish out some rubbish attitude to people it doesn't make sense and oh because the truth is that everybody have gone through a whole lot people have lost parents people have lost family members but because of that they are not holding the words to their, their chest they are not tightening the words to their chest they are not misbehaving up and down because if if you then come to use this because of what you have gone through to um to justify why you behave in certain manner trust me if other people decide to start using that and behaving like manner to you you won't be able to undo it because the thing about life is everybody go through shit everybody go through a whole lot there's a lot people are dealing with but you know people have just been able to suppress it or move on past it but you can't then use because of one your own experience to then misbehave to other people because trust me you just don't want to see what other people have gone through and if they decide to use their experience to misbehave to you you won't be able to undo it but that was what toyo said and that was it from them when ebuka asked toyo as to where he and tasha stood if they were friends on all that toyo was like oh you remember back in the house when he cried tasha gave him cake and beer and all that she's a nice person actually but it feels that a bad side overshadow a good side and all but that she's a loving person but a bad side is kind of more than a good side we're like okay okay I also went ahead to apologize for the misleading headline of the press and the word that was that was you know um that that she may have misunderstood and or he went down to apologize for that and you know they gave themselves a whole round of applause they clapped for both of them and all and they moved on next the the people on set got the the, the the new housemates were brought in on set we had ella joining in we had Mercy joining we had fraud and esther joining in at this moment and now ebuka then you know brought um, um, started off with ella's matter that because of course we could see in some previous episode when venita and all they had come for ella so it was time for them to clear that aspect then ella goes on explaining herself that oh yes at first she felt she wasn't worthy you know to be amazed and all of that she had gone for a while and all of that that yeah she wanted them to see them in a setting in see she wanted the housemates to perceive her in a certain way and all of that and she felt you know it was uh, it was by her showing them that you know she has changed and all that all that see this girl was just talking and with her accents you might be irritated to actually listen, listen to what she was saying just let you just say that she talked but that accent now nah, fam mm -mm, we're not about to start straight now yet to hear what you're trying to say Messi was also asked about you know where the situation stands and Messi was like oh yeah now you know she she thinks she kind of believes Ella and all oh, she's going to start you know trusting Ella and then let's see how it goes from there even Venita also had replied to say okay that you know she I think she apologized I can't remember anyways Venita then went on to say okay that you know she actually want Ella to know that they support her that they are here for her and actually from now on they are going to show her support they are going to be there for her and they all give themselves around a, a clap and an applaud anyways and yeah it was good to see that then ella also then apologized to kim and tasha for what she had said and things she put them through that she didn't know that you know it really was still bothering them so much or she didn't know what she had said and how the effect it was on them so she went ahead to apologize to them and also they clapped for each other like at this moment they was just clapping back and forth and it ended on a very sweet note everybody you know forgave each other it just really ended on a sweet note and everybody was smiling you can even see Messi and tasha you know tasha was just like even with the way tasha was doing like she was really enjoying herself and you know dancing on her chair and Messi was there also hyping her up i'm like yeah this is what we live for this is what we want to see you guys you know i am, I am applauding yourself hyping yourself and doing well this is amazing so it was so nice to see and that was how they ended today's episode so guys that wraps today's episode of the big brother nigeria reunion show prepare them set please 
remember to engage me via the comment section about your take on today's episode also remember to please click the red subscribe button and the notification bell beside it so you'll be the first to get notified whenever i post a new video because you don't want to miss any of my review also please remember to like this video if you come thus far and you're enjoying this video please like this video and help me share this video with your loved ones thank you for watching until my next video stay blessed